everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octeo Studio, and today I'm sharing with you my artist trading cards for days 12, 13, 14, and 15. This is part of a month long challenge for June 2019 called ATC A Day 2019, which is hashtag ATCAD2019. You can search that in any social media, and you will come up with lots of artist trading cards from lots of different people. I haven't counted how many people are playing along this year, but there's a lot. So this first one that I'm starting with is a gel print. Um, on Art Joy of Sharing live stream show on Thursdays all month, we are doing um, backgrounds with different techniques. And the first show that we had was gel printing. So I did a lot of different gel printing backgrounds. And I'm just going to uh, use my color box of turquoises here to make a composition onto my card, a little collage, and I'm just auditioning different pieces. Um, there's some burlap, there's uh, some, uh, uh, on this, like on a printer, there used to be, you, you had to feed the paper onto these like little roller things that pulled paper and it was all one continuous thing that you tore apart separately and these little uh, things with holes in them are the sides of those type of paper and then that piece that I just cut out is textured wallpaper and I was using it to make impressions onto the gel plate and I have a ton of it you know, I have a big, large piece of it, so it's okay if I cut this little piece off. And that's the reason that there is some uh, teal or turquoise colored paint on it is because I was using it to make an impression on the gel plate. And so I thought that looked kind of cool. It reminds me of um, the like medallions, like iron medallion type things that you see uh, uh, last year around this time, I think it might have been in July, I took a trip to Ireland and all over the place in the city that we're staying in is all this type of ironwork and there's just stuff that looks like this uh, all over the city and that's Dublin and so that's what it reminded me of and I just kind of put a half piece there and then I'm doing some shading I added some Bria Reese glitter ink to the center and then I added some cheddar acrylic paint from Dina Wakely I've got some Faber-Castell uh, pit pins and I'm using those for shading and blending it with a water tank brush. Just, you know, a little bit of detail work to make things stand out from the background. So this is just a little mixed media collage on a gel print background. And I still have a ton of these gel print backgrounds because <laughs> when you're doing something like that, you tend to make a lot. So. Uh, you'll be seeing them through the rest of the month. I didn't use any more of the gel print ones in this video, however, because the next show that we did was alcohol ink. So the rest of the ones that I have for this video are done on uh, cards made with alcohol ink. So I like how this turned out. It turned out pretty cool, but it needed a word or something on it, just something else. A little bit of dark color. I did some uh, edging with uh, that color is called oh man it's not verdigris something like that though anyway it's archival ink around the edges but I still thought I needed like some darker color so I ended up bringing in some uh, black around the edges and also using a stamp set that has tiny little letters to stamp the words old world along the edge. And in order to make sure that I stamped it correctly, I wrote it on my paper first <laughs> and then I, I wanted it to end at the top of the card. So I stamped the words backwards. So it helps if you write down the word that you're going to do if you're going to do this in, in a backwards sort of way, starting with the end and going to the beginning. Because if I had started at the beginning, I would have probably run out of space by the time I got to the last letter. That's just how things work for me. So yeah, this was a fun little card to do and it's dimensional. It has a lot of texture on it. And 
I'm kind of into that color right now. So that's the way it went for day 12. I'm posting these on Instagram as well as in the Art Joy Sharing Art Community Facebook group and the Pick a Stick Challenge Facebook group. So we've got lots of ATCs going on. So now this is a, the live stream show and um, it happened to be on a Thursday, the 13th. And so this is the card I made for the 13th. And I've got Yupo paper cut into the size of an ATC, which is three and a half inches by two and a half inches. And I am using alcohol ink. First, I used some alcohol ink with uh, Q-tips and just kind of dabbed, dab, 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 dab to make these lilac type looking flowers. Uh, this is when I was growing up, I had lilac trees outside of the window of my bedroom, and in the summer I played under them, and they always smelled so good, and they're pretty, they make beautiful bouquets, and this is the time of year that they would be blooming, so that's the reason that I picked lilac-type flowers to do with my alcohol ink. I'm also using my dried alcohol ink in my palette with a brush, and um, dipping the brush into 91% alcohol instead of water, and picking it up and watercoloring with it. And so it's just a fun technique to do with alcohol ink. Then for highlights, I used uh, my Posca pen, my white Posca pen, which is, is acrylic ink in a pen form to just draw in the details and highlights of the card. And then I just edged it with a black um, ink pad and I put a word on it. And that's it for day 13, a pretty simple card, but very effective and colorful. So for day 14, so, so we're still in the alcohol ink um, show here at the beginning. And then I'm, and then I show what I did with the thing that I'm, the background I made. So I had glued some heavy duty tin foil to some cardboard that was cut from a cereal box. And I'm using my die cutting machine to use, to use those, uh, impression plates and roll through the die cutting machine which makes a dimensional impression onto the tin foil and I did a couple of them here the one I end up using is this gears looking one and then I drop alcohol ink on it in different colors and I, I can spread the alcohol ink using 91% alcohol in a spray bottle and because alcohol ink will stick to non-porous surfaces, it does a very cool job of coloring the tinfoil and making an interesting effect. And then I also, after everything was dry, I, I did spread it around with the ink spreader a little bit, adding more, spreading it around just to make it interesting, kind of grungy. And then I did um, sand it and make the top parts kind of scratchy, but you, I don't know if you can really see it because I ended up covering most of it up with uh, the collage that I put over the top because I was just in a collage mood. Um, this is a piece of magazine page from a very moody um, uh, spread in a magazine. And I just, I liked it. I just, it's a scrap that was on my desk. And so I added some of that and then I added some torn pieces of uh, old book paper that's, you know, so old that it's really got a ivory color to it, um, yellowy ivory. You know, that's what happens with paper when it starts to deteriorate. And this is a very old page from a book. Glued some of that on. And then I had this heart that's from a gel printing session at some point. I had cut hearts and used them as masks on the, on the print to do printing with gel prints. Uh, this was a long time ago, but I liked the color of it against the color of the card and so I glued that on. Then I have some uh, metal pieces that look like scissors and then a little resin flower that I found in a box from uh, uh, Craftbox UK is where these pieces are from and I have them in a box from Craftbox UK that I, I didn't use up all the pieces when they sent me uh, monthly kits to um, demo for them 
and I had a lot of the scissors left. So I put a pair of the silver scissors because you can see that silver shining through in the background from the tinfoil, the colored tinfoil. And then I also glued the, the resin flower on. It matched the color of the heart. So I thought it looked pretty cool. Glued those pieces on with tacky glue. And then, of course, I went around the edges with the black ink pad. And as I was doing that, I kind of accidentally touched the petals of the flower. And I thought it looked cool. So I ended up bringing the pad back in and uh, putting some more black on the edges of the petals. Because the, the color of that resin piece is very one-dimensional. And I hadn't done anything to it. So then to finish it up, I added a word and a word sticker from Tim Holtz type stickers. And then also a little bit of shading with my Stabilo All Pencil and um, some splatters. Oh, some copper color, metallic uh, watercolor with a neo color bronze crayon. Because copper, because I just like it. And then some splat, some black splatters, and I think that was pretty much it for this card for day 14. Um, just it's it's a uh, it's got a lot of dimension to it because it's got a lot of pieces glued to it, so it doesn't lay flat really <laughs> at all. I also, of course, always glue a backing on with my information if I'm going to send this to someone or trade it or something. So that covers all the weirdness on the back because the tinfoil was, was folded over to the back and stuff like that. So this next one, that is a piece of uh, cotton muslin type fabric that I bought at a fabric store. I washed it to get all the sizing out. And then um, I just had a few pieces to work with the alcohol ink. These are alcohol ink markers, uh, Spectrum Noir brand. And they will make a permanent design on fabric. So you can do this technique on a t-shirt or something if you want to. Um, it's pretty fun, but you can make real simple designs with your alcohol markers and then use uh, a dropper and drop the 91% alcohol right into the center and it blooms out and makes these circular flower type shapes. Also, you can make other type shapes and just spray uh, with the 91% isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle and it will do that same type of effect. It doesn't make the blooms, but it, um, it makes the, the alcohol ink spread out and look interesting. So. I was doing this as an alcohol ink technique on the Art Joy of Sharing live stream show, and I will link the live stream that we did all the alcohol ink techniques for you so that you can go watch it in real time if you want to, the recording. But then I took one of the pieces of the fabric and I glued it to a 140 pound watercolor paper to make an ATC out of it. And it actually, turned out really interesting when I watercolored over it. So that's what I did was watercolor over it. So once it was glued down to the card, which is, you know, a pretty heavy card of 140 pounds, fairly heavy, then I thought it looked kind of groovy and sort of tie-dyed looking. So I decided to draw a hippie girl on it. And I'm using my mechanical pencil with some soft graphite in it to draw to begin with and I'm just drawing a face and some hair and then I end up drawing her hand and making a peace sign and then some bubble letters spelling the word peace because I just kind of remember bubble letters being a thing <laughs> in the 70s anyway I I wasn't around for the 60s but uh, I had a a cousin, or not, she's not my cousin, she's my aunt, <coughs> who lived with us when I was fairly young, and um, so it would be my mom's sister. And she was a teenager, a very rebellious, bratty teenager, but she also was into this uh, bohemian hippie style of dress and 
this kind of reminds me of her. She didn't live with us for very long. My mom sent her back <laughs> because she kept running away and uh, smoking in the house and stuff. So she was being kind of a brat. But anyway, so I drew my little person on there and, and then I got out some Neocolor 2 water soluble crayons and I'm just scribbling the crayon onto a piece of deli paper and picking it up with my water tank brush and starting to color my figure. Uh, when I'm watercoloring like this, I do a lot of layers of color. So I started out with some type of an ochre yellow and then I went moved to some kind of peachy pink color. I got a little bit of white acrylic paint and I brought some of that in um, in the, the highlight areas where you know the light would be shining. I got some lavender um, into the shadow areas and I'm just I'm just continuing to do this as a layering process. What I found interesting was how the the water reacted to the fabric. So as the fabric got saturated, then the water would spread and blend really well. So I guess the combination of having watercolor paper underneath, then matte medium over the top with a fabric really is a great surface to watercolor on and I, I enjoyed this a lot. I think I need to make some like bigger pieces of it because I just I really liked how it turned out. It's it's not as rough as canvas because it's it's a more tight weave fabric. It's a muslin, like a cotton, 100% cotton muslin type of a fabric. And I have huge pieces of it. My my idea at one point, and I still haven't gotten around to it, but I was planning on gel printing onto this fabric and then sewing it into some type of a patch quilt. I think that would be really cool. And I have a fabric paint that I can put on the gel plate and then gel, gel print onto these, you know, I need to cut up the fabric and make it into panels and then um, at some point sew it together with maybe some coordinating fabric or something and make something out of it. That's the reason that I bought like two yards of this fabric <laughs> because I thought that would be super fun and I just have never gotten around to it. But it sure worked great for these little ATCs and um, I had fun with the alcohol ink. So that's another idea is to maybe make some alcohol ink panels and sew those into some sort of a, a quilter, a wall hanging or something. But I always have a lot of ideas of things I want to do and I don't get to them. So that I have two more ideas than time. <laughs> so I'm just continuing to layer. I've got different colors in her hair. She's a redhead. Um, so some different mahogany and then sienna and then terracotta, maybe some orange. She has some uh, braids in her hair that have beads on them. So I'm adding a little bit of that. I, she's got a little tank top on some jewelry, just coloring in things and adding more layers of color to everything and every once in a while I come back in with the white acrylic paint that's very diluted with the water in the water brush and put a little bit of that on you know to highlight certain areas until I'm happy this is what I did for this card let's just do some water coloring and in fact next Thursday the 20th we are doing watercolor ATCs so that will have we'll be doing a lot of different techniques on that live stream so that's at 10 30 central time 8 30 pacific time on Thursdays over at the art joy of sharing live stream show so you can come and watch that then I have this new pack of uh, gray scale pins that are illustration pins I keep I kept saying I wanted some gray ones I finally just went on Amazon and I bought a set of gray ones these are not Faber Castell the ones I normally use they're a different brand but then um, this is the first time I've used them so I can't really uh, comment 
on anything about them other than they worked really well on this project. I used the the medium gray one. There's like a light, a medium, and a dark in two different pen nibs. And I'll, of course, link the materials that I used in the description box below, like I always do. I purchased these on Amazon. Um, I like how things come to me in a couple days <laughs> and I don't have to go out and look for something. So um, I'm, I'm quite sure that there is a Fabricastel set like my other illustration pens that I use all the time, only in grays, but I haven't found it yet. It wasn't on Amazon. So I just went around with the very smallest one, which is the 0 0.5, and then I used or the 0 0.05, and then I used the 0 0.01. I hope I'm not doing that backwards. To go around the bubble letters that say peace. And then I went around the edges to try to get the fabric to uh, fray so that you could tell it was fabric. So that's it for day 15. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those things. And that's it for me. Bye-bye.